Hey guys, welcome to another video. It's Holly here and um, for this video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be making a craft that I found on a different blog. So I actually found this craft, this faux butterfly taxidermy craft on Katie Sarah Creates. Um, Katie is actually a good friend of mine. I used to work with her and she just launched this super cute, adorable blog, Katie Sarah Creates. And uh, it's full of so many great ideas, you guys. And she is the queen of dollar store crafting. Like she comes up with so many great ideas um, for stuff that you can um, hack out from the dollar store. And it's just, it's so great. I love all her ideas. So I thought I would test my, um, my crafting skills and put one of her crafts to the test. And uh, yeah, we're going to try and recreate her faux butterfly taxidermy. So stay tuned and I'll show you how it's done. Alright guys, so here are our supplies here. We have some um, faux butterflies. I got these from Dollar Tree. I also got this gold frame from Dollar Tree as well. 8x10. And then we have an 8x10 wood artist panel. This I got from Dollarama. Um, so a couple different dollar stores there. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to start by taking apart the frame. We are going to open it up here and we're going to get rid of the um, backing as well as the paper that was inside there. And then we're going to toss those. Well, you can save them for another project if you want. You don't have to toss them, but we don't need them for this project. We do, however, need the matte frame. So we're going to hang on to that. We don't need the glass. So safely dispose of that or keep it for another project. We don't need the frame part just yet, so we're going to put that aside we do need the mat and the wood artist panel sorry the mat border we're gonna start off with some black acrylic paint and we're gonna paint the inside of our artist panel making sure that we paint the bottom portion the sides um, and the frame itself as well make sure you do a nice even coat and that there are no clumps or drips here I'm just using a foam brush I like the foam brushes they're a lot easier when you're painting um, smooth surfaces like this and I just got that again from the dollar store you want to make sure that you paint the edges as well because they will show on the side of your frame we're also going to paint the matte border and this one you'll probably have to do two coats um, just because it was white. So a little bit of the white sh uh, streaked through. So I did two coats of the black paint on the matte paper border. I set those aside to dry. Once they're dry, we're going to take our butterflies apart here. And we're going to place them inside our artist panel. I took apart a foam brush just because I thought that I wanted them to be a little bit more 3D and stand out a bit rather than sink into the wood artist panel. So I just cut little strips of the foam brush up and then I basically put them in position and then I use my glue gun. Here I'm using a Ryobi um, battery operated glue gun which I love. It's my favorite tool in my craft room and I'm going to glue that down there and then I'm just basically gluing the butterfly on top of the foam piece. It really is that easy, you guys. This craft is so easy. But it achieves a really cool and high-end finish. So basically just line them up, glue them in. And um, just gonna glue this bottom piece here, sorry. I want to make sure that they're nice and even so that's why I just took my time a little bit here just to make sure that they're straight and the spacing is correct. So we're going to glue that down and then now we have to put our piece back together. So I'm going to put the paper matte border on top of my wood panel, the frame back over top and if you're, you're concerned about security you can glue all three of these pieces together or you can just put them in place and then close the, um, the clasp at the back. And there you have it guys. That is Katie Sarah's um, Easy Faux Butterfly Taxidermy. Now I didn't follow uh, Katie's tutorial exactly. Obviously I didn't have the same frame that she had and um, so the finish on mine is a little bit different. But that's what's really great about these DIYs is that um, you get these starting points from DIY bloggers and YouTubers and then you can take them and you can go off on your own and do your own little thing and make the craft really your own. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a like and leave any comments you have below. Also, make sure you check out katiesarahcreates.com, her blog, and she also has her own YouTube channel as well. So give her a like and subscribe, and um, that way you don't miss out on any of her great projects as well. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.